Perioperative nursing is a nursing specialty that involves the care of patients who will be undergoing surgery or other invasive procedures. These nurses are responsible for preoperative, intraoperative, and postoperative care of surgical patients. Perioperative nursing offers some of the most exciting, demanding, and well-paid work in the nursing world. I got into OR nursing while I was still a nursing student. I spent a summer internship in the OR and I have loved it ever since. What I love so much about the OR is the fact that you get to see anatomy. It's one thing to learn it in the textbooks and in the classroom, and it's another thing to connect it when you're touching and feeling and seeing it. I love how we do everything from head to toe in the OR, and I also love the teamwork that is involved when you're working with your surgeons, your anesthesiologists, the pre-op nurse, the PACU nurse, or even the ICU nurse. We all work together to achieve one outcome, and that is patient safety. In the OR, it's a unique environment that not a lot of people get to experience. I love how you get to be the patient advocate in the OR because what better way to be a patient advocate than when they are asleep and intubated and cannot speak for themselves. I love OR nursing. Also known as operating room or OR nurses, perioperative nurses are registered nurses, RNs, who work in hospital surgical departments, day surgery units, also called ambulatory surgery units, clinics, and physicians' offices. They work closely with surgeons, anesthesia care professionals, surgical technologists, and other healthcare providers to provide direct patient care, one individual at a time. They apply the nursing process to assess, plan, implement, and evaluate patient care and treatment of the surgical patient. As a perioperative nurse, we are constantly using the nursing process. It begins at our initial assessment of the patient, then we develop our plan of care, which we implement throughout the operation. And at times we may have to reassess and change our plan. But at the end of the operation, then we are uh, evaluating the patient so that we are uh, certain that the patient has uh, met the outcomes in a safe manner. Perioperative nurses may function in a variety of roles, including the circulating RN is responsible for coordinating the overall nursing care in the operating room, observing and assisting the sterile team members, communicating with other team members who are involved in the patient's care, interacting with the patient's family or caregivers, and maintaining a safe, comfortable environment for every surgical patient. Scrub nurse. In this role, the nurse maintains the sterile field and selects and handles sterile instruments and supplies used for the operation. The scrub nurse is part of the sterile field and directly assists the sterile team members, including the surgeon and assistants. RN First Assistant. In this role, the nurse delivers direct surgical care by assisting the surgeon at the sterile field by controlling bleeding, providing wound exposure, and suturing during the actual procedure. I've had the pleasure of working on uh, the floor as a nurse as well as in outpatient family medicine, but I had the opportunity to get into perioperative nursing and join the operating room. I went through a six-month orientation through Periop 101, where I was able to circulate most of the surgical cases that we do here, as well as being able to scrub most of those cases as well. In the end, I got to choose what specialty service I wanted to be on, and I chose to join the vascular surgery team. In my role, I think I prefer and love to be in the circulator role. While scrubbing is really fun, I feel like I can provide more one-on-one -on -one direct patient care in the circulator role. and. Um, providing great patient safety. And in the end, I like also being able to have scrub experience because it allows me to understand what's going on in surgical procedures. But at the same time, it also allows me to, you know, perform my duties as a circulator. 
as perioperative RNs gain nursing knowledge, experiences, certifications, and additional educational degrees, their opportunities in perioperative nursing can expand to more advanced roles. For example, many perioperative RNs are nurse managers, nurse executives, nursing instructors, educators, advanced nurse practitioners, and consultants. As perioperative RNs in these expanded roles, they provide support to the perioperative nurses at the patient's side and advocate for the patient's well-being and safety throughout the perioperative experience. Perioperative nurses must have the ability to interact well with all kinds of people in difficult situations. Their primary role is patient advocacy and ensuring all patients receive safe care. Emotional stability and a caring, empathetic attitude are key to success in this role. Perioperative nurses must also be able to make critical decisions based on available information about the patient, accept responsibility, direct others and delegate responsibility, coordinate the patient's health care, collaborate with physicians and other health care professionals, determine when consultation is required, participate in improving and evaluating perioperative nursing care by implementing evidence-based practices. OR nurses use their critical thinking skills on a daily basis. And it became very apparent during a mass casualty event that we experienced here at our facility. During that event, we had to make sure that we had all the necessary resources available to save the patient's lives. Not only did we need to make sure that we had enough blood in the blood bank, but we also needed to make sure that we had enough instrumentation to take care of those patients. We received six of those patients within an hour of them hitting the emergency department. We had to make sure that we had enough staff in here to take care of those patients and that we had the necessary supplies and equipment. Something as simple as getting scrubs um, on a weekend night when your scrub machine is empty became important. And not only did the OR nurse have to think about all the resources she needed to take care of those patients, she also had to make sure that the families were kept in form. It was a very tense and stressful situation and the nurse needed to make sure that those families received an update as often as possible. During any operating room day, uh, the nurse has to make critical decisions related to the patient and the safety of that patient. What we recognize is that the surgeon is focused on the procedure and it's the nurse who is more focused on the patient. So the surgeons really appreciate that relationship and having the nurse remind them of specific safety measures that need to take place. Perioperative nursing makes significant demands on physical strength and stamina. For instance, when positioning patients and transporting equipment needed for surgery, and sometimes needing to stand for long periods of time during surgical procedures. Working with patients in critical care and emergency care can give you applicable nursing experience and a taste of the perioperative world, a fast-paced, sometimes stressful environment in which you can participate in life-saving decisions. Potential employers will also look for leadership skills, problem-solving abilities, collaborative strengths, effective communication skills, ability to be a self-starter, comfort with frequent public contact, and knowledge and proficiency with today's technologies. Perioperative nursing has always been uh, very interesting and exciting and challenging uh, career to be in. Uh, initially, just being clinical and working in the operating room as a circulating nurse or a scrub nurse offers a huge variety of experiences in many different specialties. Uh, so it can be years where you can stay in the operating room in a clinical role and still have experiences to grow into. If after you have you know, fulfilled some clinical obligations, you would like to have a change in the role in the operating room, 
uh, many places have uh, so many more opportunities available to the nurses. Uh, one of the opportunities you could work into would be a, a service specialist. Uh, those nurses are the ones that organize and um, have a more uh, focused uh, responsibility to take care of particular specialty surgeons and surgeries and instrumentation. Uh, in addition to that, uh, there are many other opportunities available to operating room nurses. Uh, management is one way that offers uh, a lot of different venues, uh, whether it would be a, uh, just a charge nurse, or you could uh, move into a role of an assistant manager or even a manager of a department. Uh, besides that, then there are other opportunities to be uh, perhaps a clinical nurse educator for the operating room. Uh, those people work uh, to provide education as well as in-servicing. In addition to that, there is a uh, positions available uh, for, uh, to monitor and uh, um, roll out new programs for patient safety. So our patient safety nurses uh, also are involved clinically, you know, rather closely with the operating room. Another opportunity would be the uh, research nurse to be a research specialist. Uh, they're always trying to do, you know, move forward with research in, in the operating room and um, they have an active role in that. Uh, and then another role that is, is up and coming actually, probably just starting to evolve, would be the uh, business coordinator. Uh, that's the role of the nurse in terms of uh, uh, the products that the hospital is acquiring and paying for using in these procedures, as well as advancing programs, um, certain specialized equipment purchases, uh, all those opportunities that a nurse uh, who knows what happens in the operating room and knows what they need to use and how they use it is able to make a, a great decision making uh, in terms of the contracts the hospital has to uphold. The perioperative nurse's role is, can be very, very wide and has many opportunities to grow into. So, if you think you would enjoy this exciting, demanding, and diverse field of nursing, you can find out more and become an AORN member on the AORN website, aorn.org slash ornurse.